Hello everyone, welcome to Stoneheart Me Banto. I hope you guys are doing great today. So, in the previous episode, we were working on a new building down here, which is gonna be a farmhouse with multiple levels, and uh, I got some good ideas and suggestions for doing some more things, so I said we were most likely gonna have some cheese making maybe down here, and another suggestion would be to make use and uh, grow some mushrooms, and I feel like that's an excellent and beautiful idea, so I wanna experiment with that. So, a fungus, probably one of the growers, uh, the humidity is a little bit higher, so we can imagine that um, inside, if we make like a cave here, but it's gonna be a little bit more humidity in there. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with uh, slicing the terrain, and we're gonna try to get a level that we want, and uh, let's increase that a little bit, so, um, I don't think we're gonna have five, maybe four blocks. So, the building is gonna be here. And I'm thinking that we do an entrance somewhere around here, and um, let's make a wide door to go into this one. And we're gonna keep digging inside of it, and inside of here we'll be able to grow some mushrooms. And uh, perhaps we will have um, it like this, like a little wall. So 12 by 12, we can start with that, to begin with. And then we can make some paths and so on, and... Uh, this place could even be used as a combination of a farm with both growing crops and maybe we'll move some of our animals like these guys a little bit closer, maybe behind here next to this beautiful water that we can drink a little bit and I was just gonna say talk with the ducks but there's no ducks to animals so that's kinda hard to do but yeah they can also have like a quarry so let's say we have the mushrooms in here right? We can make another entrance, we can combine them if we want to, but I'm gonna make another entrance. And I'm gonna make that also 4 in width, and uh, then we're gonna widen this up. So we're gonna go, go like that. Yeah, 10 by 10. So when we have gotten in here, I'm gonna start to go down. But first we do that. Okay, that's good. And I'm not entirely sure, but I kind of want to make like an, almost like a bridge between this side and that side. I feel like that could be a really fun thing, because then we're going to see people both going up and down to the D and inside of here, going into the cave. But we will also be seeing our people going over the bridge, over this hole. So I'm not sure what you guys think about it, but I want to... Give that a try, thank you Bruno and... Oh, Banto, I'm visiting myself, awesome. <laughs> so I feel like doing a bridge over here, that's something we're gonna do. So um, we want this to be, this is gonna be an odd numbered and width, so what I'm gonna be doing, I'm just gonna make it free and width, I don't, oh we can't have it there, okay let's make sure we, it's gonna be four, okay. So we can do it over here if you want to. It depends if you want uh, the support to be even to be going down all the way, we don't have to have that actually. Uh, another way would be to um, make these away. That they will be a support, and I think the easiest here is to just drag it over to get the correct position for this one. And then we just add this under here. Yeah. And at the moment it's red. And what we can do here is just double click that. And then just drag this like so. So that can be good, not too wide or anything. Might put some support in the middle. Daily update, okay. A food is kind of stable at the moment. Maybe can improve a little bit upon that. So what we need to do now is to make sure we have something connected. So either would be going all the way down. Could also be going like that. And that might be the best way. Another way would be to... I think we could add a road here. That works as well. But I think we will actually increase the height. So they will go up a little bit or... Yeah, something like that. I don't want to make it too advanced. And then like that. There we go. That's connected. Very nice. And maybe, maybe... I don't know if I want to do this, but... Could increase the height a bit. Not more than that, maybe. And then we're gonna go and remove a little bit. So go leave free like so. Just drag us through. And then we'll leave free here again as well. And that gives us this shape. 
So that's kind of simple bridge, I would say. Uh, but we're not done with it yet, so we definitely want to color this. So I'm going to do an, like a texture, kind of, like two here and there, like this. Be like boards, kind of. Maybe like that, and perhaps another color. There we go. So then I also want to add some details, and uh, for this one, should we do... Uh, I was thinking of doing just in wood. However, only wood might be a bit too much wood. Maybe we can use uh, this color. And either we do like this and cover it, or we will use it in a different way. We can go like that, and then we could use either fences. Here's some wildcats, I think. We're gonna have a look soon. So we can use normal fences like this. And then we just like continue with them, really. So that's like one way. I don't know if I really like that way. Another way would be to use the ladders instead. Like this one. I actually think that one looks more interesting. So we're gonna go and see if you like that. So they will be able to climb this, but they shouldn't prefer to do so. Because it most likely takes a longer time for the pathing to go there. Which should make them prefer to take the bridge. And there's one thing in the game that I'm not 100% sure of. So, you know, when you make a road, you run faster on roads. But I'm not sure if you run faster if it was placed as a block. So if you want them to run faster, we can just drop a road on top of this and just recolor it again. And that might be the safest way, so I'm gonna do that. Just to be sure. And uh, let's rotate these around as well, so we can get them to be closest to the edge, like so. We go like that, I'm just gonna add all of them. Okay, there we go. I think that looks pretty okay, yeah. Nice. So, yeah, I think it has a uh, good amount of details in this one. I don't think we need more, but uh, what I said before about the roads, if you want to sh make sure that it will be fast to go there, we can remove that. I can actually go for this one. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Drag it over. And I might actually use that color, it looks pretty good actually, so um, I might actually go for that one. And then we'll remove the center. I do think that one might even be better than the one I had really, so that's awesome. So there we go guys, very very nice. And if you want to, we could add, um, let's say, let's say we do it like that. Uh, it's going to be a little bit close here, so let's do it like this instead. And on those, I want to put some flowers. So let's go ahead and put uh, one on each side. We can be a little bit decorative and creative with that, so it's going to be beautiful. And if it would have been even wider, we could have had like some benches up here, but mostly we just want to travel over it. And I think that's going to be a cool addition, see people going back and forth. And if we put fences around here and we have animals, that means we will have to go through there. Oh, here is a little duck friend. There we go, there's one. Uh, but let's have a look now. I think that bridge is going to be, going to be fine. Uh, okay, so it is part of the farmhouse. I don't think it matters too much. So uh, I think that should be fine. Uh, however, like I said before, we might want to have some support in the middle. So let's see how wide this is. 28, okay. That means we have to have um, an uh, even number, kinda. We could also go like that if we want to. And we can consider it done with that. 
or we will add the, like one in the middle. I think that's around here, maybe. So we just drag one up. Seven and seven. There we go. So we will move that again and then just go up with the support. There we go. And uh, if you want to, we can also make this a little bit wider. I'm thinking that it will be a little bit stronger in supporting this. Do a little bit of that as well. Okay, there we go. There we go. Very nice. Might have made it a bit too much. Uh, let's try to remove these. Because I don't want it to be too insane. I think that is good enough. We could have gone support like that also. That might look kind of nice. And maybe recolor... Ooh, whoops. And maybe recolor um, with this one down like that. Or even all the way down here. Maybe it's even better like that. Ah, let's go like this. Okay, I consider it done, but they are part of the same build, so when we build that one, we build this one. Let's just make sure we remove that one. Here we go. Oh no, actually that's supposed to be there. I thought that was part of the bridge, okay. <laughs> I wonder if we should remove uh, one. Ah, let's go like that. Okay, good. So this one, I'm gonna be building that one. I feel like that one is ready. I'm gonna save it. Bridge with farmhouse. And this one, I'm not gonna share this one because it's gonna be impossible for you guys to find... Uh, a place that looks exactly the same. So if I show you guys like this. You can see on the image over here. That it's going to be really tricky to get it in the. Kind of the same spot right. But the cool thing with this is that. Uh, when you save a template like this. We can actually like go ahead and. Uh, remove like the entire building. And maybe only like keep the bridge. So I'm going to do that. Let me show you guys. Okay there we go. That should only be the bridge. So here we have only the bridge, and it may be reusable somewhere. And another way would be to remove that, and that will be the same height for an entire bridge. We can save that one again. We just do it like that, then we have another bridge. But this one has the same height here and here. So do let me know if you want this bridge, or maybe one adapted uh, to work with your town. And I think it's kind of fun when you make bridges, because you can kind of combine them with each other like this. And make an infinite thing, like I did with my, uh, this bridge. That you can use like, as, almost like a walkway for your soldiers. But if you combine them next to each other like this, they can be walking up there. Kind of cool. And this one could be even be under it. I think it's really fun to try to combine different templates and uh, see what they end up becoming. But okay. Let's go back here. Let's see if they want to build it. Come on, come on. Yes, awesome. First try, awesome. So I saw some goblins over here. I think we should go and deal with these little guys. I'm sorry guys, but uh, you will have to go. And hopefully that's going to go pretty good. So we haven't seen any of the dragon cultists yet. So I'm still looking forward and hoping to face these guys because uh, I really would love to see what happens with them but so far no enemies looks like we got a ton of wood that we need to loot soon and we also have the maze and house to build should we build that at the same time I guess we could do so we could do that let's see if they want to build it let's try Okay, that one works directly, an arm goblin. I think that's the guy outside. Yeah, okay. We're running in with a soldier to fight them. Rule of the writers over here. Awesome. I think he will be able to deal with them pretty good on his own, so I don't think I have to fear these guys, really. Okay, there we go. Here comes this Banto. The Banto the Contestant. Okay, I want to see actually what that title 
But uh, why did we get a title? This one is pretty insane, by the way. Defended the town from a thousand enemies. Perhaps a more diplomatic approach is warranted. <laughs> That's insane. I'm guessing the contestants is from... To kill five enemy leaders. Ooh. Enemies won't settle here. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. But uh, the thousand enemies, that one is freaking insane, right? So I want to prepare my town a little bit, because if you're going to go up against the final challenge of the game eventually, I want to make sure we are prepared. So over here we have a lot of turrets, but I would like to have some more. So over at this bridge over here, we do have one turret. I would like to add a few more. Potentially I would also like to add uh, a couple of turrets in the middle of the city. Because in the event that's going to happen with the final battle with the Titan, we're going to be fighting almost everywhere. We're going to dig up the roots. We're going to fight uh, corrupted enemies and uh, waves and them and tentacles and things. So you guys can see if you haven't seen it. It's a pretty cool thing. But I think we should definitely start to prepare quite a bit for that. So let's go to the engineer. So the engineer makes out turrets. So we want to make sure we make a few new ones. So this is the best turret we can do, and uh, let's see how many of them can we actually have. So we've selected a turret down here. We can have uh, 20 turrets, okay, that's great. So we can have 9 more of those. So let's just queue up to do a bunch of those, there we go. That should be fine, and oh, okay, we need a new one of these. That should be pretty easy to do. We do have a lot of things to do with the carpenter. Oh, look at the wood we got. I think we only have one. Oh, we have two carpenters. Okay. They're both masters at it. Awesome. Okay, and also, let's see here. You're a level one footman. Okay. Maybe we can level up by this one because we're trying to get her up her levels. So if we can have her to uh, practice a little bit with this one, here we can summon enemies to fight. We can probably level up her levels a bit. Okay, let's see, where do we have her? I think that might be the girl the furthest away. Let's make sure everyone stays around. Okay, there she is. Hello, Yura. Welcome to the battle. Okay. So now we're going to summon some enemies. Oh, wow. <laughs> they are so big now. Okay, let's give them a little bit of potions. Help them out a little bit. They do hit pretty hard, as you can see. Uh, but we're doing pretty good with the healing. That's awesome. Got some thunder with smiting the enemies too. Level 2 footman already. Awesome. So this way we should be able to get them up in levels fairly, fairly quickly. And it may even be worth if we have, let's say, an archer here. It might be worth... I don't think they can be footmen though, uh, the bunny people. But if you have someone else, it might be worth to get them down to become a lower profession again. Just to get up the levels, because that gives them more uh, maximum health. Okay, let's do one more. We're level 3 at the moment. Okay, this guy's running away. Let's target that guy, maybe. And the turrets are shooting a lot. That's nice. They do have a limited amount of uses. Oh, I was looking at the uses. We can actually have 52 turrets. That's insane. Oh, wow. So, if you want, we can spread them around the town for the final battle to potentially feel a little bit more secure. Okay, level 5. Okay, let's do another one. Go for this guy. Oh, wow, they're really getting super destroyed. Awesome. Go for this guy. We're just kind of burning them up almost. 
Level 52, level 6 footman, okay. So that means we could go for um, the next profession, if we can have like another knight. Here's a paladin, I don't think we're gonna get that, I don't think it suits with our kingdom. Uh, but it is a profession you can also become if you want to, it's from the kingdom expansion. For mainly I would say the ascendancy, I think that's the ID for them at least. But we need a nice shield to be able to promote and become another knight. So we're gonna make one of those. And it may be that we're gonna need some new equipment, but we'll see. 53 achieved. Look at the amount of items we got here now. Insane loot. We can sell it for good, good gold. And then we can buy some stuff. Even got some tonics. That's really cool. Stamina tonic. Very nice. Thank you, Tobless. A stone war master sign. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. So let's send in a few merchants. I'm gonna buy some iron because we can't alone that. Gonna buy some. Yeah, let's buy some silver. Since I have a lot of gold, I'm gonna buy a bit of ingots as well. Maybe some iron ingots too, let's go. I do wanna try to keep my inventory sort of cleaned, but not really clean, but a little bit of cleaning here and there. So here we have a lot of those, some of them. We go sell all those, this one. A lot of bones again. Okay, there we go, so quite a few. Since we have a lot of gold, I'm actually going to buy an even a little bit of food. A very organized firefly goblin. Okay, I'm not going to buy it from that guy. Uh, but yeah, let's see for doing an entrance down here. So we need to have a door, and uh, either we just craft and don't place it, but sometimes it's, I think it's even better to click to make a new building, and uh, then we get the door we're gonna have. And this time, let's see, uh, there's some tunnel, I think it's called, yeah. So stone frame tunnel door. Then we can just put it here, and um, whenever they destroy that, if they do, they should be rebuilding it. So, we can click yes to build that, and then we can do a new building. And if we want to make the outside look maybe a little bit special, with maybe stone, then we can do so if we want to. So we could cover a little bit, maybe like that, and like this. Nothing super advanced or anything. And then we can just do a little bit of random colors. To make it feel nice. Okay, this one we're gonna wait with building because when you have a ladder you can't build the building. It will go red as you can see. Hmm, really? I wonder if that's a, because it's, it's a ladder from a construction. It could be that. I, I'm guessing it must be. Okay, so I also do think we need some more storage. And I have changed the filters so they will be set to none from the beginning. Looks like we do have quite a bit of storage in here, so um, that's pretty good. But we may want to have uh, potentially a little bit more. And let's also look for those uh, little planters. For the mushrooms. Okay, I think they should be in here, so let's see for the herbalist. And let's search for planter. So here we have large mushroom planter and wall mounted mushroom. I'm, I want to do a combination of both of them, I think. So let's say we want to do, we're going to grow a lot of mushrooms, eight of those. And eight of those. But we need to make some brass plate and is that made by the engineer or the blacksmith? Okay, the blacksmith. And a soft metal and copper ingot. Okay, nice. That's great. So, let's maybe have a little bit of a look over here. So, if we're gonna have some animals to go over the bridge, I think we can make a fence already. So I wanna cover this area all the way over here, I think. We could have two types of animals in that space if we want to. 
I want to have them... Um, I think I want to have some sheep at least. It's not sure that we can drag over this actually. So let's go into making some fields. So, oh, it actually does work. Awesome. So, uh, okay. So if we're going to have... I guess we will have like an... Um, a gate over here. So maybe we don't want covered in Thai water. So let's go like... Uh, I think something like this. And maybe save a little bit of space. We can have maybe some chickens there. So let's see. Uh, sheep pasture. So we can have four sheep. So maybe that's good enough. And uh, then I was thinking that if we make like that, we can have, have some... Um, maybe some chickens next to them. Or some other, like an ostrich, because we need large eggs. So let's give that a try. I've never had an uh, pasture for those. That's gonna be interesting. So let's see, ostrich enclosure. This exotic bird produces delicious large eggs and can be slaughtered for large poultry, jerky, feathers and bone. Okay, so we can go with that. We need large eggs when we're gonna make some, I think it was potions. Okay. So we want to cover this with some um, fences. So let's use the fence tool. And should we make this with wood, Mia? Maybe. Yeah, that could be good. And uh, we don't ha really have to cover this side. If we want to, I guess we could. But we don't really need to. But we can uh, cover it between these two. So if we make a fence between them. Or they can walk around in the same... Yeah, maybe we allow them to do that. We can allow them to do that at least from the very, very beginning. Okay, so let's go to the fence tool. And we're going to make a fence over there. Drag it over. And right into the mountain. There we go. And here we're just going to put a gate. Which is going to be... I guess we can put it right after the ridge. Probably the best place to put it. So we put one of these, uh, let's see, is that spot? Yeah, it seems so. Actually, yeah, that will work, yeah. Very, very nice. That's gonna be cool. So this is gonna be a real little cool little zone. Farmhouse, windmill, mushrooms down here, making cheese down here. People living next to there, walking across the bridge to get to the animals. I think this is going to be a really cool, active place to look at. So I'm really, really happy what we got going on there so far. But guys, this can be it for today with Stoneheart. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to leave a like on the video. It makes Banto super duper happy, super cool of you guys. And uh, also, once again, thank you to my members here on YouTube for supporting me as uh, members and... Uh, I wish all of you guys a great rest of the day, and I'll see you guys soon, soon again. Thanks for watching today, guys, and see you guys soon. Take care, everyone.